Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table is just a quick follow-up video. Uh, since I flew the H for the first time, the weather in the UK has been horrendous. Uh, torrential downpours and all sorts. Uh, but I've been taking the opportunity to um, look at all of the questions that you've been putting uh, on the various videos. Uh, and today I was also at the press day for this year's Farnborough International Air Show and I met up with Dan from Unique. He's their chief pilot and their tech support manager. So I was able to put some of the questions to him that I wasn't sure of as well. So that's what we're going to run through today, just to clear up some of those issues. But before we go any further, it's the kitchen table. Of course, we must have a beverage when discussing drones. It's the evening um, after a long drive back from Farnborough. So um, I'm on some red wine. It is uh, Pinot Noir from uh, Chile, Tierra del Corazon. So um, cheers, everyone. Hmm. Oh, I needed that. Okay, so loads and loads of questions. Um, I've kind of taken the most frequently asked and I'm going to respond to them now. Um, lots of comments about props in shot. Just to confirm to everyone, I wasn't flying in any way, shape or form like I would do if I was taking video. Uh, at all times, the aircraft was in the full maximum rates. Uh, the hair in the tortoise and hair mode and uh, for almost all of it the gimbal was fully up and uh, I was giving it the beans um, full full uh, stick in all directions because it was the first time I'd flown it and I wanted to see what it was like. Um, it's a very aggressive aircraft when you have it at full rates. The beauty of it is that you can, as I showed you in the video on dial, uh, looking at the uh, ST16 here, you can dial down and you can really mess around with Expo on each of the individual channels and tweak it. One thing that um, Dan from Unique told me was that what you're able to do is save different profiles, not only for different aircraft, but for the same aircraft. So you could have one profile which was like sporty, aggressive. You could have another one which was very docile on all the controls set uh, in the expos that you then save. So that's pretty good. Uh, when we get some half decent weather, I'll be taking it up, dialing down the, the rates somewhat and um, you know, trying to operate it in a bit more of a uh, videography mode. Uh, people were asking what the weather conditions were exactly. Um, the winds were around 12 to 15 miles an hour with some gusts that were probably slightly higher than that, um, but fairly steady. Um, the wind direction, well, when you saw on the, on the aircraft, when the drone was heading back towards where the takeoff point was, it was heading crosswind, but with a more upwind component. And when I did the speed run, which was got to about 28 miles an hour, that was pure crosswind. Um, so that bodes well for a, you know, well north of 30 miles an hour. If you've got some, if you're down, going running downwind, I suspect it's going to be fairly, fairly brisk. Uh, I don't think it's going to compete with the, with the Phantom, um, but it's not going to be as slouchy. They've, they've tweaked that since I flew the prototype. Um, they certainly put some more tilt angle on it. Um, other uh, questions I was asked, the 400 foot restriction that comes out the box. 400 foot restrictions and geofence from airports. Yes, there will be a GUI, a graphical user interface program, which will be released uh, relatively soon. You load that onto your PC, you attach the to the uh, ST16, you accept all the disclaimers and agree that it's all your fault, and then you can remove the 400 foot limit. You cannot, it will be grayed out as an option, you cannot remove the geofence around airports. Um, if you are using it professionally uh, and you need to have that restriction, I do not know if there'll be a system whereby you can contact them to have that removed on an individual case-by-case -case basis. That's to be that's to be found out, I guess. Um, uh, what was one of the other questions? Oh, uh, does it? Uh, can you only have JPEG? No, you can choose JPEG or DNG for stills. Uh, I took it out earlier, the rain stopped for a minute and briefly the sun came out and I just took it out into my back backyard here and just took a few stills holding onto it handheld just to see if there was geotagging, that was the other question. I can't see any geotagging GPS information in the EXIFs on those JPEGs. Uh, whether that's something that will be coming I don't know, but certainly as it stands I can't see any geotagging on the stills. Um, People asked about HDMI out. I can confirm uh, because I tested it. Uh, and if you look here, you'll see me doing so, that this is a complete mirror of what the screen sees. So if your screen is the standard screen with the full telemetry, that's what will be put, pushed through the HDMI out. If you do the double tap 
and you remove all of that, that's what will be seen. It's a complete mirror of whatever's on the tablet. Uh, and it also works in normal tablet mode. So if you're you know, playing back some movies or something, you can send that out to a, to a screen. Um, what else was I asked? Um, I think that was it. Um, oh, uh, somebody asked me, that's the one. Um, this is the little kind of uh, protector that goes over the front of the lens. It's a little kind of insert and twist. Uh, somebody asked if that had any kind of filtering in it. Uh, I've confirmed with them. I thought it might be a UV or something like that. I've confirmed that it's just, it's just glass. It's completely clear. It's purely there to protect the main lens from scratching. Uh, my understanding from them is that the, the, you will be able to get filters. So you may be able to get UV and ND filters made like this to be able to add in. Now, I, whether those will be from Unique or whether it's via a third party, I don't know, but that will be very uh, useful to have, uh, to have different filters for people. Um, so yeah, that was it. Just uh, those, were, those were some of the, the, the questions that I was getting repeated and, and over and over again. Um, the next time we have some half decent weather and I can get out with it, as I said, I wanna do some uh, testing with the camera. Uh, loads of people have asked about bit rate and uh, you know, quality. And it's such a subjective thing. What I've decided to do is take the, the raw files, just a few seconds, so it's not massive, just take a few seconds on the highest resolution and take some full resolution raw DNG stills as well. And I'm gonna host them somewhere where you guys can download straight from the SD card. So no rendering by me, uh, so that won't be any losses there. No YouTube compression. You'll be able to see a short clip and be able to kind of delve right into the quality. And I'll put some raw um, still, a DNG still up as well. So those of you who want to go and hunt around the edges and have a look at aberrations and any of that, you can do that. I'm not an expert in imaging um, and I've found it's very subjective. So I think I'll leave that to, to others. Uh, that was it. Uh, thank you very much for all your support. Thanks for the positive comments and, uh, and, and thank you for watching the review so far. Um, I'm gonna do some more because I think there's a lot more to, to sort of discover. One of the things that I haven't even touched on yet, which um, I want to is the, the wizard uh, controller that came with this. This is the one-handed kind of like a TV remote, point this around and the drone will follow um, and use that. Maybe if I can get somebody else to, to come and, and help me, we can show how this works as a, in team mode. So one can control while the other one uses this to have a full gimbal, gimbaled camera on the sticks uh, and see the output. So much more to come. In the meantime, very great thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you who've asked, if you want to support me and the Kitchen Table channel, then in the links down below in, in the description on all my videos, there are some affiliate links. If you do your normal shopping with Amazon, if you click on my link first, uh, they'll throw me a few cents. Uh, and so on and so forth. If you'd like to uh, become a channel patron and support that way, or if you want to buy a mug um, that goes with the mats here, again, links below. But mainly thank you for watching and uh, I really appreciate it. I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.